I'm with Seth Gross, world team member. Seth, I just want to go back to Final X, your win. Talk about some of the changes you implemented to come out with a win there. Yeah, there's a lot of adjustments because I'd wrestled Fix the, the year prior and he'd actually teched me 11-0, so there was a lot to go look back at that film and look how I was giving up points and look at a lot of tendencies and things that he was going over and it was just the match we'd wrestled where I lost 11-0. There's honestly a lot of positives where I could have scored in positions, just wasn't quite tight enough and not disciplined in little areas. So it was a lot of uh, small adjustments that made a big difference in that match. And then, like I said, he had a lot of tendencies and he has a certain area that he really likes to score from. So really just blocking those areas out and focusing on my stuff a little bit more in that match. And it took me a little bit to get rolling and open up in a lot of the matches, but I was able to do that and get my offense going. and and he scored some points in those matches. So. Talk about how you implemented those changes. Like, was it going home watching video and taking it one thing at a time in practice? Like, what did that look like a little more specifically? Yeah, a little bit of everything. I actually wasn't in college a film guy at all. I don't know if that was just me being overconfident in myself or what it was, but in college it was like, I don't need to watch film, you know. I, I'm going to go do, do what I do, but I know there's a lot of positives to film. Now, being a coach now, too, that watching film has become a lot more regular thing, so I watched a ton of film going into final acts, watching the best guys in the world, watching my opponents, and that, that was easy to take, take apart. Like, like I said, he had a lot of tendencies. He likes, right, if I underhook on one side, inside trip, he likes elbow tie, boot scoot, and so taking those areas and then implementing them and how I'm drilling, how I'm practicing, and just doing that over and over. And I got a lot of great partners in the room that are able to give me really good feels that, right, I got Joe Zargo, I got Eric Barnett, I got Austin Gomez, I got a lot of guys that can give me any feel I need to feel, so go over that with those guys, have them throw it at me and, and learn that way. Awesome. And this is going to be your first World Championships, right? Yep. That's yep. got to feel pretty awesome. What's going through your head right now? I'm just excited and, and it's just an amazing opportunity. It's something I've always strived for and always been a dream of mine to go represent this country at the highest level. I've made some young like uh, cadet world team, junior world team, but this is the first time on, on the big stage. So I'm just excited to go out there and and show what I'm capable of. And um, like I said, just really represent this country. It's always been a dream of mine to wear that singlet overseas and hopefully hopefully be wrapping that flag around me after my last match. And now it's day two of training camp. What are you trying to work on this week and focus, on, focus in on? A little bit of everything, and, and it's been amazing. I think a lot of areas that we've already went over as far as staying disciplined with where, what your hands are doing, where your head is, and, and a lot of parterre, transition stuff, and just, just a lot of things that I think are gonna help me as I go overseas, because I really have limited experience going over and wrestling international competition. So being here, that was a huge, huge part of getting ready. I'll go over to Tunisia uh, here in less than a week now, but, but getting here and doing this stuff's been a huge help. Our two days in, and I already feel like I'm jumping levels and getting, getting a little bit better each day. So it's been unbelievable. And you know, like I said, I have amazing partners back in Wisconsin, but coming here, you got such a variety of guys that are in this room, you know, world team members, past world team members, NCAA champs, so many guys to just pick their brains and see how they do things and learn from them. And, and with that being said, right, I got so many world champs in this room that I can watch and see how they do things and see what they do a little different. And, and so I always like to adapt and learn, so focusing on what those guys are doing and try to add some of their tricks to my stuff has been big. Yeah, a lot of medals represented in this room. Does that motivate yeah. you? Absolutely. It keeps me hungry and and shows that, you know, it's cool that I made it this far, but there, there's more levels to keep going, to keep jumping. And uh, yeah, like, like you said, a lot of medals and a lot of guys that I've looked up to, right? Always been like, you know, watching Jordan Burrow dominate for the last decade has been unbelievable. Now I'm on the team with him. And, and that's a cool, cool, cool thing. And right, getting, getting to even know these guys outside of wrestling has been cool, because I I, I, haven't know, I don't know them too well yet, but just a short time, you know, we had a dinner yesterday and been around a little bit. They're just unbelievable guys who want to help help me go win a medal. They don't just care about winning their medal. They want the team to win, so they're doing everything they think they can to, to help me. That's awesome. Is there anything else new in your world that you want to share? Uh, not too much. Uh, yeah, just thankful for my whole support system, my wife, my family, uh, and my guys back in Madison. And yeah, obviously God is a huge part of everything I do. So, you know, just leaning out my faith through this whole process and excited to get some international wrestling. Awesome. Thank you.